This video is sponsored by M-Wave in Australia. And it's exciting because it's my first experience with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX BattleBox. VR ready, DirectX 12, and of course, built for 4K gaming. I've always wanted to know what it would be like to just put everything on ultra settings and still get high performance. And now I do. So this one is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX BattleBox Ultimate Z370 Gaming PC 2018 Edition, available through M-Wave Australia. It looks amazing as it is, but even more amazing once you look at what's in it. Just a quick list of the parts used. This is the NZXT H700i case. It has an EVGA Supernova 1000W G280 Plus Gold Power Supply, Intel Core i7-8700K, cooled by an NZXT Kraken X62, the SUS Maximus X Z370 motherboard, and that RGB RAM there is the Team T4 Delta, 32GB worth. There's a Seagate 960 EVO 1TB SSD, along with a 2TB for storage, NZXT RGB triple fan pack and lighting kit, and saving the best for last, two NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Founder Edition SLI graphics cards. Up until now, the best graphics card I've used is a GeForce GTX 1070, so this has been awesome. The step up in resolution from 1080p to 1440 is great. The extra detail really makes a difference. And the same is true jumping up to 2160p. Everything just looks incredibly crisp. After using this, a GeForce GTX BattleBox is definitely on my list someday. I can build my own PCs, and usually do, but after seeing how clean and tidy this is, I think it might be worth letting the pros do it. Really good cable management, great parts, great build, no hassle. And that's who this is aimed at. People who want the top performance and an amazing build, without all the extra effort of researching combinations and cable management. And it's an NVIDIA certified system, which means it meets their criteria and guarantees performance for the best gaming. I have to say, as someone that's always busy these days, I do prefer this solution. So let's look at the performance. What can two GeForce GTX 1080 Ti SLR cards do? Starting with 1440p gaming, using a ViewSonic XG2703 GS monitor, one of my favorites, and of course, with NVIDIA G-Sync technology. It can actually go up to 165Hz, but I'm going to run it at 144. So this is Fortnite at 1440p on ultra settings. It remained fairly close to 100 frames per second, Felt smooth most of the way. If I was playing properly, I would get these frames closer to 144. But with Nvidia G-Sync enabled, it still felt and looked great the whole way through. The same seemed true in PUBG, although I hear it's not optimized properly yet. Still, the GeForce GTX BattleBox was able to handle it on max settings. And lastly at 1440p, Destiny 2. Again, all on the highest settings, as you see here. I didn't cap these at all, although you should when using G-Sync. I just wanted to see how well it was handling the game. Of course, if you lower these settings and play games in medium or high, you should be able to get way more than this. In the newest game I usually play at 1440p on lower settings, I was getting over 240 frames on average. Now, this machine was built for 4K, so to test that out, I'll be using the Acer XP281HK, which is a 28-inch 4K monitor at 60Hz, and again with Nvidia G-Sync technology. So in Fortnite, everything on max, it's a solid 60 frames. Without any limiting, it's actually getting about 65 to 80 frames. But you would want to keep G-Sync on to make sure it's looking as smooth as possible, and without tearing. PUBG, again, isn't optimized but still looks smooth. And Destiny 2, again, has a solid 60 frames. Uncapped, it's actually getting around 70 to 90, so there are some frames to spare to keep it at 60. I also ran the Superposition benchmark with the 4K optimized setting. I watched it the whole way and it looked fairly smooth, and the results were an average of 51 frames, maxed at 60. I should note I didn't tweak anything, this is basically all running on default. So straight out of the box, all that you're seeing here is the performance you'll be able to get. Again, no hassle, easy. So to conclude, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX BattleBox is by far the most powerful gaming rig I've ever used. It really does step up the gaming experience being able to have everything on high detail. Every time I've asked people what graphics card I should buy, They've said the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, and having two of them really opens up the potential, including in 4K. Combine that with the top system builders, and you get a system that will handle every game. If you want one, as said, these are built by M-Wave in Australia. I'll leave the link in the description. That's it for now, it's been fun seeing what a PC like this can do. Subscribe if you haven't already, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.